I just got a couple new airbrushes and these have needles in them. My old ones did not. So I'm going to polish the needles today and looking at some other videos, seeing some of their ideas, whatnot. I've sort of combined uh, methods and wanted to keep it very simple. What we're going to do, this happens to be a nice water brush, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to remove the needle. It does look a little dirty. I'm going to use the Flitz polish. This is a great metal polish and use it for lots of stuff uh, when polishing. And now we have it on the needle. And we're going to take a couple swipes through. Now, I heard one video where they said the black was crap that was on the needle, paint, whatnot. In actuality, Flitz is a metal polish, and with any polish, you are going to be removing oxidation and surface material. So that's what's going on. You are looking at some residual uh, surface oxidation and metal there. So. That should be adequate for that. It is looking shiny. And then someone else had mentioned using Rain-X. I have been using Rain-X since the 70s. So we're talking close to 50 years here. And I'm just gonna put some on a paper towel here. By the way, you can use cotton, you can use a rag, you can use microfiber, you can use anything you want for this. But I've been using this on my car windows for years, not sure how well it'll work on uh, metal, but it is a water repellent and if you're using acrylics it may help the paints from sticking to the needle. And we had some of the polish come off, compound come off with it. So that should be adequate. That should go back in. If I can get it in, there we go. And this should be good to go now.